Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are busy working for the past few weeks so I decided to make some treat. I am going to show you how I do my inexpensive charcuterie board or cheese board. On my research, the word charcuterie is derived from the French words chair and cuit, which translate to flesh and cook. Charcuterie board are being popular to everyone and it started to prominence in 15th century France. Charcuterie is a technique devoted to preparing bacon, ham, sausage, terrans, pates, and confit. A good charcuterie board is the ultimate easy appetizer, snack with drinks, and even main dish. If you include enough variety, it's one of our favorite ways to eat and to entertain because it's fuss-free and very easy to cater to a variety of different diets and preferences. So grab your largest serving board or platter or even lay parchment paper directly on the table and you can start building your charcuterie board or cheese board. I always prefer to put fresh fruits like what I have on my plate which are strawberries and oranges and also I am going to use red grapes on it too. There are no rules but in my opinion a charcuterie board is different to a cheese board. A cheese board is focused on the cheese and includes ingredients and elements that complement the cheese. Similarly, a charcuterie board is all about meat. The ingredients paired with the meat are there to complement and make each bite a delicious one. Cheeses, I am going to use a white roll sharp cheddar cheese and some slices of Parmesan cheese. And also don't forget the cheese knives and tiny spoons or anything that you can use for your pickles and jams. I really wanted this charcuterie board to be full of a few of our favorites. Since I am using a mini cheese board, I am going to reuse the other part of it. For a soft cheese, I will use the laughing cow wedges. So since I don't have a big board, I am going to use another chopping board and will put this round cheese board that I made over an old chopping board. I also love to use simple containers to hold the cheese plates containing snacks. These are great for jams, chutneys, paste, honey, olives, pickles, nuts, dried 
fruit or any other things that you don't want to scatter on your cheese plate. All the things that you would see on your charcuterie board or cheese board are whatever we had on the fridge. You can just be creative on how you decorate or arrange the things on your charcuterie board or cheese board. You don't need to buy expensive stuff for it. Sliced baguette, breadsticks, and crackers of all kinds are welcome on a sharing board like this. Most of the elements are best served at room temperature, so the board can be assembled up to an hour in advance and kept covered at room temperature. Alternatively, you can assemble the ingredients except for breads and crackers and cover well then refrigerate for a day before serving. Add any crackers or bread right before serving to prevent them from drying out of getting soggy. And always add your favorite chocolate and nuts to add up on your cheese board or your charcuterie board. Parma ham or prosciutto is also a great addition. I also like to include a variety of different meats. Salami is a must and as there is such a variety of there. You can also include a few different types. This is now what I call date night cheese board for two. Homemade cheese boards embody this duality of hominess and excitement. These are so classy and with their multiple ingredients offer endless flavor combinations. And yet, you can make a world-class cheese board in about 10 minutes, minimal effort required. And don't forget to bring your favorite wine on the table. I am the type of person who really loves, enjoys going out and also really enjoys staying in. And for those nights that I stay in, I love making it feel just as special as if I had been out. I keep things cozy but also just them up a bit. Okay friends, now it's your turn to make an awesome spread for your next party of two. Thank you for watching.